Morning guys. About 5.30 a.m. Four is in the garage with me. Ooh, went out of focus there quite a bit. Um, I guess let's get started with a very small unboxing and then I got something I want to show you. All right, this one's small enough I can do it from behind the camera here, so. Amazon, 15 bucks total shipped. Couple of uh, made in China specials here. What this is, if I can open it, Red LED. Where is it? Where is it? Here it is. That's a temperature bulb in there. So one thing that drives me nuts when we're out driving around somewhere is I'm so used to modern vehicles having the out, outside temperature on the screen. Don't have that in uh, Able. So I got a couple of them. I know one of them is going to go in the cab. I'm not sure about the second one. We'll see. But just a cool little add-on. Um, it looks like you have to do a cutout so that it snaps into a square about the same size, but I could probably figure out a way to make something neat, different, and unique with this. But for eight bucks, I figured that's a pretty good deal. On to the next thing I wanna show you. Looks like I have two complete sets of seat heating pads left. Hint, hint. So after uh, doing a bunch of research and thinking about things, I picked up these seats. These seats are out of a BRZ or FRS. They're the same style. And they are a jacquard and leatherette fabric. These ones happen to be out of a very low mileage vehicle. And I want to give a shout out to Spencer Appland, uh, 541 Motorsports. I'll leave a link to his eBay page down in the description, but he's got a lot of great deals and whatnot. He actually allowed me to uh, drive uh, down there to his shop, which is uh, about 200 miles from me, and uh, pick out the ones that I wanted, and uh, he gave me a big discount on them. So. Props, shout out, and uh, like I said, the link will be in the description, or if I can figure out how to get his eBay link in the video, I'll do that too, but something I like about these, they have to be cleaned up a little bit, obviously, but check this out. For the most part, let's see if I can get a good shot of this. The mounting brackets are fairly flat. So I might have to cut, cut that front lip off or just let that hang over the mounting plate on the front and that'll be like the front mount for um, the plate. But the rear one is perfectly flat. So I'm pretty excited about these. I gotta get them cleaned up. As always, get the seat heaters installed and then uh, go forward from there. But these are in excellent condition and the fabric is nice and thick. It's uh, I did some research online and it's a jacquard fabric which is a higher end fabric and the stitching on these is nice and it adds a little bit of red to the interior which is fine. But first thing I gotta do is get these cleaned up, get the seat heaters installed, take the old ones out and then get these ones reinstalled. I'm really excited about these. They're super comfortable and I think they're gonna do us well in the long term. I started to think about um, doing a budget build, which is what I'm trying to show you guys, is that anybody can do this uh, with just a little bit of money on the side coming in. And uh, I was thinking about getting going full on and getting core bows and whatnot. But for the budget-minded person, these are great. You know, for the pair, it was 300 bucks, and uh, that compare that to like a thousand dollars worth of core bow stuff, 
and the quality of, of OEM is very similar to Corbeau's, so I'm pretty excited. Let's get started with the uh, cleanup and the seat heater install.
guys. I want to say this is a uh, much improved modification. So these seats, surprisingly, are a bit wider than the Forester ones. So as you saw in the video there, I struggled a bit to get them mounted, but they hug the insides just as tight as can be and still work the way they're supposed to. So I'm pretty excited about this modification. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do the uh, temperature LED today because uh, it's just so nice out and I want to wash the cars and whatnot so I have other things that I want to do plus I got to edit all this footage so that's going to be it for this episode guys if you uh, like this episode you found it helpful interesting fun exciting boring whatever the case may be give me a thumbs up subscribe And as always, I'll catch you guys next time. See you later. Bye-bye.